I was doing some research for a video for you guys, and it just got weirder and weirder the more that I looked into it. A U.S. startup is charging couples around $50,000 to screen embryos so that you can have really intelligent children. Unethical in theory, but not what made this weird. So last year, a reporter went undercover and did a video call with a company called Heliospect to see if they could have their embryos screened. This was based in the UK, where doing this is not allowed. It is technically allowed in the US, just not gene editing your children. You can screen them, sure. It would be extraordinarily expensive. Also, $50,000 doesn't seem like a lot considering what other fertility services charge. Now, things got sketchy really fast. Michael Christensen, Heliospec's CEO, I couldn't actually find any evidence that he exists. The other guy listed, Jonathan Anomaly, and when I saw that name, come on. No, he's a real person, and apparently not a great person. Evidently, he's a very controversial figure for some of the things that he said about, you know, making your children smarter or prettier. You know what I mean. But he never claimed to work with Heliospec. He does work for a company called Heresite. Heresite certainly does seem to exist, and they actually do research. I managed to pretty easily find research that they were involved in, and you can see Jonathan Anomaly there. And yeah, Heresite does charge about $50,000 if you want to screen your children for genes associated with intelligence, and there's some other stuff on the list. But they do exist. Except when I looked for Heliospect, I found nothing. There is an LLC that's registered in Wyoming, but when I went to all of the public documents available, it's registered to a shell company. They have no location, no infrastructure, so they don't exist. They just have a website where you can email them. What struck me about their website, aside from, you know, having no contact information or location or phone number, but the website is pretty badly designed. Some of the art they use just is funny and very clearly AI because that woman has cracked goggles. Her name is also T-Bend. I did manage to find probably what are the stock photos that that was made off of and maybe even generated with AI. I mean, when you look really closely at some of it, is that a human brain? Someone pointed out it might be a squirrel brain, but it looks very much not designed by an artist. The hands on this guy are also just cracking me up. Now, the reason that this undercover recording was a big deal is because you cannot do this in the UK. So a company offering services overseas to someone based in the UK is definitely concerning. So either this whole thing went down really poorly and the people who were involved are no longer involved and have scrubbed every reference to the company, which is also possible, or the company doesn't exist and the entire thing is a scam. I did send an email to Jonathan Anomaly because the answer to this question is bothering me. And while well, yes, he's an awful person, I just gotta know if this ever happened. And by the way, you can't screen your children for higher intelligence. Yeah, there are some genes that are associated with it, sure, but it is a nature and nurture problem, and there's a lot of genes working together that we don't fully understand. We have already seen that the children who came from people looking for donors with certain traits, like being tall or blonde or good at music, didn't work. Yeah, just because your parent was good at music does not mean the child will be. And aside from that, these children feel very much like products, and they let their parents down by not being the perfect thing that they paid for. So, not a great idea. Ethically dubious. Not allowed in a lot of places. But does Heliospect exist? Did it ever exist?